What up, Fish Tank people? How about a little midweek Imperial Tropicals action? Watch my boy Mike D drop some knowledge on some L Series Plecos. Ooh, you know I love some red and black Plecos. Check it out. Enjoy. What up, Fish Tank people? Want to show you more Pleco action here at Imperial Tropicals. Check this out. Mike, man with his weapon. What do we got here? We got L25. Now, before we dig in, bro, what's the deal? As I wipe the lens, they're a little steamy. Uh, what's the deal? The L Series, right? L Plecos. Talk to me. Like, the L means they're not discovered. Or not, not identified yet, right? Yeah, so L is the um, Lorcaria, which is the um, whole general encompasses all the different uh, catfish of South America. Okay. But the number represents um, the identification of the fish. That means that the fish has not been was not scientifically described when it was given an L number. Okay. But they assigned L number at L numbers at the time to identify them. Okay. Uh, so like. An L25 is a scarlet pleco, is the common name. Uh, it's in the Pseudocanthus species. Right. It comes from Brazil. Uh, these are the seven pointers. Why do they call them a seven pointer? It's because they have red on the tips of every fin. So well, let's like, get it out yeah. and see it then. Let's catch, um, these are two metals right here. Well, these are really stunning fish right here. We're still Brazil? Yeah, these are still, uh, these come from Brazil. Where in Brazil, you know? Yeah, the, um, well, they found a different location. This is the San Felix River okay. system. So, uh, these guys have some wicked um, spines on them. Nice. Uh, this is a, um, that's what they look like right there. Nice. Um, they look so fast. Yeah. The problem is I got to look at them through the camera so I don't have to like look at my own two eyes. So I got to <laughs> check it out. I'll put them on the uh, display tank. So. Oh, yeah, dude. Wow. So um, these are actually a meat-eating pleco, so they yeah. don't eat algae. So what I mean, do you feed it? Um, well, we feed it a lot of like uh, frozen shrimps, um, they eat frozen brine, uh, mussels is what they like eating. Yeah. In the wild, they crack um, the shells with their teeth. Their teeth are designed to like crack open shells and eat the insides of them. So like scallops would be freshwater mussels is usually what they diet on. What are they, what's their temperament like? What do they Sierra live with? Teeth. Like what do you, yeah, what do you put them with? Uh, they go with any types of, uh, you know, fish. They can hold their own. With cichlids, they with can hold cichlids. their own? Yeah, well, South American fish. So, okay. Like, I, I recommend people keeping South American fish with South American fish. Right, right, right. Uh, so, like, you wouldn't want to throw him in a tank with an African cichlid. Right, but is he going to eat neons? No, nah, he wouldn't eat neons. Uh, they're too hard to catch, you know. Yeah. So, uh, you could put them in a, uh, a bigger community tank. Uh, Community tank will be all right. Yeah. Wow. Yeah. No, they uh, they usually feed in the wild on dead stuff or shells or stuff like that. So, I mean, they, these guys are eating just regular sinking pellets. You know, right like, on. Um, same thing that we feed our um, South American cichlids. You know. There you go. Um, but yeah, they're they're real easy to maintain and a real trophy. You know, yeah, they have prize. They're, uh, they're wicked. Nice. Now they will fight with other, um, you know, plecos. Yeah. Like the other one that I have in there is all beat up from this guy. Oh, for real? Yeah, because they um, just competing for territory. Yeah, okay. Two males, you know. So how do you sex them? A um, little bit on the body shape, like a um, a male will be um, have just a little bit different head on it. Yeah. The, uh, Wider head, be, thinner head. Uh, females would typically be a little bit broader in the okay. body, and then uh, the males would be more elongated. Elongated, you know? all right. And then um, males will have a little bit more spines on them, like on their pectoral fins and everything. They'll I have more you. spines for uh, for fighting off and defending their territory. All right, I got a theory on plecos. I want to bounce it off of you. I think plecos are like the quiet dude at the bar. That's like big and burly. It wouldn't hurt a fly unless you mess with them the wrong way. And oh, then yeah. he tear you apart. Absolutely. That's, that's, that's my yeah. thing with plecos. I'm, yeah, you know. no, I mean, these guys, um, I've seen, you can watch videos uh, of them fighting, and that's, they're, they're vicious. You yeah. Know? I mean, they throw those elbows. Yeah, they throw, throw bows. There you go. Throw those bows, yeah. Nice, dude. Tight fish, bro. Yeah. 